This is an open landing to Rapzilla. Dear Rapzilla, I am worried. Worried about how you seem to actually believe the words that come out of your mouth when you blatantly lie. I don't know if it's pride or what it is, but it worries me a lot. You know that people can make mistakes, right? And that sometimes an apology actually goes a long way? I've stated that I want to be left out of this because screenshots from my last video are being used against you and I don't like that. I don't like you, but I don't want your livelihood to be ruined. The point was to show you how different you are on and off camera. People seem to be running with that video and they don't seem to realise that it wasn't the first one. There were others before. But every time I spoke up, I would either get told in masses by your fans that it was a lie despite screenshots and evidence, or you would tell me to take down the video or threaten to take down my channel. Of course, I had some people who could see through it all and understand my viewpoint, which meant and still means a lot, but all in all, it got way out of hand. As I said, I wanted to be left out of it, but you have now publicly stated that the lolcow thread was fake and that it was a combined effort by myself and Danny Edge. Now, I've never spoken to Danny and why would I repost screenshots from a video that's already online? I had nothing to do with it, but that being said, it is also not fake and you have made this yourself in part. Some of the screenshots shown are from my The Other Side of Repzilla video, which you said was accurate, yet now you're saying that it's fake, essentially? The main reason I am going into the Long Cow post is because by you claiming that it is fake, you are essentially saying that my videos and my experiences weren't real, and I feel like that is something that I should be able to respond to. Even if I won't be left out of it, I feel like I should still stick up for myself. Famous for stealing content. I'm not sure if this is in relation to my Speaking of Repzilla video where I show 10 plus examples of videos he made that didn't seem like coincidence. At the time, we were friends on Facebook and subbed to each other, so there was access to each other's content rather easily. He did credit me at times though, but in those 10 plus cases, I thought he was copying my videos. This would also cut down his recording and edit time, which is a point later in the video. I've also been told by people that he didn't credit them for information they gave him either. Always forgets to credit the people he steals from. If it is in relation to me and those 10 plus videos, then that's true. Hence why the point was initially made in the Speaking of Rapzilla video. Also, the Speaking of Rapzilla video and the other ones are in fact on my currently terminated channel, which is in the process of being appealed. He did claim it was impossible for him to steal my videos because it takes him 8-12 to 12 hours to edit a video, which honestly, I don't think it takes him that long, and as far as I recall, the majority of the videos I claimed that he copied were past that 8-12 to 12 hours anyway. In my opinion, he is a manipulator. The comment about him not knowing what content ID is, I believe is in relation to his Pokemon video where he claimed that she struck his channel or whatever when it was a video that was claimed under content ID and is not a strike or her trying to take his channel down. He threatens to date down channels. I'm not sure if this is exclusive to me but this did happen to me on multiple occasions. He would tell me things like, you know I can take down your channel. The research side of Repzilla is interesting and it can be debated all day. I was under the impression that he would get sent things and then look into them more. 
But him and I actually, late last year, did a video together in a sense. It was about bonds. I gave him a brief rundown of the situation and he was interested in the idea. But then he wanted me to send him all the information. He's also nowadays known for lack of research and rehashing others' videos. So that is unclear if it is true. But he does use gossip websites, for example in his Joy Sparkles video. The Reddit point is true, he self posts as Poppy Gospel now, but it was at some stage Rebzilla YouTube, I'll show that to you now. I'll be honest, I don't think there's anything wrong with self posting, I mean you're trying to get people to be aware of your content and if it's useful then good. I also don't think he purchased followers or subscribers either. There are definitely cases where he has acted entitled, especially in Discord servers, like telling them he should be a mod because of how much he has done for the Poppy slash Mars Argo community. Like, you work your way up in the Discord server, mate. The emails for Monetary Gain thing came about from my The Other Side of Repzilla video, as far as I'm aware. It is true. The privately threatening and threatening to sue also came from that video, as far as I know, uh, as it was towards me and the messages show that, unless of course it's happened to someone else. Um, I wouldn't be surprised given how he came across towards me. I was created with my real name in the description of one of his videos initially. Looking back, he knew I had a channel. I don't like to think him as deliberately malicious, but who knows anymore. Here's messages of me asking him to change the credit. The photo of his Facebook is not shown because he wasn't happy when I did that in the Speaking of Reptilla video, so I have avoided it since. This also is where the initial claim of me doxing him came from by showing that uh, Facebook bubble like when you send messages. Although he had actually done the same thing to me months prior, so I didn't realise it was an issue, and he credited me with my full name, knowing full well I had a channel. The reason I'm mentioning that is because uh, he claimed that I doxed him or whatever when he had credited me with my real name and shown my Facebook profile. Actually, in, in the same video, the photo thing is interesting, it was in relation to the Speaking of Repzilla thumbnail. Other people have since used it and there has been no complaints from him as far as I'm aware. So to me that says that it was just an attempt for me to take the video down. I hope this clears up any confusion. The local thread isn't available as it kept getting removed pretty soon after it was put up. Although there are screenshots and such, and I'll link that below. It's unknown who was behind it, but given the dates and small details, it would seem that they have been around for a while, at least a year, I would say. I also spoke about things on a live stream with RSM, and I got a bit annoyed, so sorry about the language used in that video, but it will be linked below. I guess I want to end this by addressing Rapzilla again and just tell you if, if you're watching this rep that everyone's human, everyone makes mistakes, you know, um, of course some are bigger than others and such, but I don't get what's, what's wrong with admitting fault, otherwise it's just going to hang over you for, for ages. And also playing the victim card just isn't isn't really cool either. Just just for a heads up, just in case you don't know, and not everyone's gonna fall for it either. But yeah. That's it.